If you are part way through a van or boat build, or just looking to upgrade your current electrical system, a DC to DC charger is something that you've probably come across whilst doing your research. Battery to battery chargers, also commonly known as DC to DC chargers, allow you to charge a leisure battery from your alternator whilst driving. They are installed in line between the positive terminals of two batteries, one of which is connected to an alternator, typically your starter battery, and DC to DC chargers offer several benefits when compared with traditional split charge systems that utilize a voltage sensitive relay, VSR, or heavy duty alternator triggered relay. Direct alternator charging used in a traditional split charge system with a VSR will only achieve around an 80% charge state. VSRs simply allow charge to pass directly from the alternator to the leisure battery, whereas battery to battery chargers take the alternator output and boost or reduce it to provide a stable voltage output according to a multi-stage charging profile. This provides 100% recharge for your leisure battery in a controlled way and typically achieves it faster than with direct alternator charging. Using a battery to battery charger is the only reliable solution if you intend to recharge a second battery in a modern vehicle that has a smart alternator. Smart alternators have a highly variable voltage output that is either going to be too low to provide a charge or too high and damage some battery types. Due to this highly variable voltage, VSRs are not suitable for use with smart alternators or lithium batteries. There are lots of different types and brands of DC to DT chargers available on the market and in this video we are going to run through some of these different options to help you make an informed decision about which unit would be right for your setup. Most DC to DC chargers will be described with the input voltage, output voltage and the current that they can produce. For example, we have one of the new Victron Energy Orion XS chargers here, which is a 12, 12, 50 amp unit. So it will take a 12 volt input, it has a 12 volt output, and can output as much as 50 amps to the battery which is being charged. Similarly, a leisure battery will be listed with its nominal voltage and amp power capacity and battery type. For example, here you can see a Victron AGM 90 amp hour battery. Different battery types can handle different amounts of current from a charger. Typically, lead acid and AGM batteries can handle up to 20% of their overall capacity in a charge, and lithiums range from 50 to 100% depending on the model and brand of the battery. With this 90 amp hour battery, we would recommend not exceeding 18 amps from a charger. Some larger vehicles have a 24 volt starter battery but require a 12 volt leisure system to run 12 volt lighting and appliances from, so you would require a 24 to 12 volt battery charger for this so it can handle a 24 volt input and output a 12 volt feed to the leisure battery. Different manufacturers include different features with their DC to DC chargers. Victron Energy's units have Bluetooth capabilities so you can measure their performance on Victron's free app called Victron Connect and Sterling Power's Saturn range have features such as bi-directional charging so they can charge from either starter to leisure battery or send a trickle charge from your leisure battery to your starter battery. Some of them, for example this Sterling Power unit, have DC to DC charging capabilities but also a built-in solar controller. This unit is called the BBS 1230. It can take a 12 volt input and output 30 amps at 12 volt to the leisure battery whilst you are driving. Along with this, the built-in solar controller can harvest up to 350 watts of power, allowing for a pretty large solar panel. We also stock a range of three-way battery chargers made by Votronic, which have a DC to DC charger, solar charger and mains charger all in one unit and they're great for saving space in a build. So to summarise, if you have a lead acid or AGM battery, do not exceed 20% of the overall capacity of the battery with a charger, and with a lithium battery, it is usually between 50 and 100% of the overall capacity, but in both cases, it's definitely worth checking what the maximum charge current your battery can handle is before you purchase a charger. Thank you for watching this video. 
In the description, we've included an article on our website which expands on some of the points we've made today and covers mains and solar chargers, so click the link in the description to find out more. If you'd like to contact us directly to discuss your system, don't hesitate to email us at sales at 12voltplanet.co.uk and we'll be happy to help.